McJob from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. McJob is slang for a low-paying, low-prestige job that requires few skills and offers very little chance of intercompany advancement. Such jobs are known as contingent work. The term McJob comes from the name of the fast food restaurant McDonald's, but is used to describe any low-status job, regardless of the employer, where little training is required, staff turnover is high, and workers' activities are tightly regulated by managers. Most perceived McJobs are in the service industry, particularly fast food, coffee shops, telemarketing, retail, and business-to-business -business copywriting. Working at a low-paying job, especially one at a fast food restaurant, is also referred to as flipping burgers. Table of Contents There are five sections. Section 1. History Section 2. McJobs, the trademark Section 3. See also Section 4. References Section 5. External links Section 1. History McJob was used at least as early as 1986, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, which defines it as, quote, an unstimulating, low-paid job with few prospects, especially one created by the expansion of the service sector, end quote. Lack of job security is common. The term was coined by sociologist Amitai Etzioni and appeared in the Washington Post on August 24, 1986, in the article, McJobs are bad for kids. The term was popularized by Douglas Couplin's 1991 novel, Generation X, Tales for an Accelerated Culture, and described therein as, quote, a low pay, low prestige, low dignity, low benefit, no future job in the service sector, frequently considered a satisfying career choice by people who have never held one, end quote. The term appears in the 1994 novel Interface by Neil Stevenson and George Jewsbury to describe in the abstract positions that are briefly held and underpaid. In the 1999 British film Human Traffic, one character's work in a generic burger outlet is referred to as a McJob. There are often wide variations in how workers are actually treated depending on the local franchise owner. Some employees start out in entry-level McJobs and later become assistant managers or managers, continuing to work at the same franchise for many years. However, this is the exception rather than the norm. McDonald's advertises that its CEO, Jim Skinner, began working at the company as a regular restaurant employee, and that 20 of its top 50 managers began work as regular crew members. According to Jim Cantalupo, former CEO of McDonald's, the perception of fast food work being boring and mindless is inaccurate, and over 1,000 of the men and women who now own McDonald's franchises began behind the counter. Because McDonald's has over 400,000 employees and high turnover, Cantalupo's contention has been criticized as being invalid, working to highlight the exception rather than the rule. The term McJob was added to Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary in 2003 over the objections of McDonald's. In an open letter to Merriam-Webster, Cantalupo denounced the definition as, quote, a slap in the face, end quote, to all restaurant employees, and stated that, quote, a more appropriate definition of a McJob might be teaches responsibility, end quote. Merriam-Webster responded that they stood by the accuracy and appropriateness of their definition. In 2006, McDonald's undertook an advertising campaign in the United Kingdom to challenge the perceptions of the McJob. The campaign, developed by Barker's Advertising and supported by research conducted by Adrian Farnham, professor of psychology at University College London, highlighted the benefits of working for the organization, stating that they were, quote, not bad for a McJob, end quote. So confident were McDonald's of their claims that they ran the campaign on the giant screens of London's Piccadilly Circus. On March 20, 2007, the BBC reported that the UK arm of McDonald's planned a public petition to have the OED's definition of McJob changed. Lorraine Homer from McDonald's stated that the company feels the definition is, quote, out of date and inaccurate. McDonald's UK CEO, Peter Beresford, described the term as, quote, demeaning to the hard work and dedication displayed by the 67,000 McDonald's employees throughout the UK, end quote. The company would prefer the definition to be rewritten to, quote, reflect a job that is stimulating, rewarding, and offers skills that last a lifetime, end quote. 
These comments run counter to the principle that dictionaries simply record linguistic usage rather than judge it, and that dropping the entry for McJob would be a precedent for bowdlerizing definitions of other derogatory terms. During the aforementioned arguments that broke out when Merriam-Webster included McJob in its new edition, McDonald's officials implied the company might bring a lawsuit against the dictionary based on this trademark issue, but never did so. McDonald's disputes that its jobs are poor because the company has been nominated for employee awards. However, this was contradicted in the outcome of a UK McLibel court case in which the judges ruled that it was a fair comment to say that McDonald's employees worldwide, quote, do badly in terms of pay and conditions, end quote. Section 2. McJobs, the trademark. McJobs, plural and uppercase, was first registered as a trademark by McDonald's on May 16, 1984, as a name and image for, quote, training handicapped persons as restaurant employees, end quote. The trademark lapsed in February 1992 and was declared canceled by the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Following the October 1992 publication of Generation X in paperback, McDonald's restored the trademark. Sections 3 through 5 are not included in this audio recording. Please visit the original website to see See Also, References, and External Links. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the new free documentation license, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html. This audio recording was produced on and is current as of December 24, 2009.